Justice and Security. Welcome, Dr. Levin. Be with you. All right. Well, first off, Doctor, let's uh, let's hear what the Stoner Institute is all about and what the mission statement is for this operation. Well, we we face unprecedented threats as African Americans in this country. Uh, violent white extremism has been dubbed by the Homeland Security and the National Security Establishment as the number one threat to American security and certainly African American life uh, and liberty. Um, we we know that deadly police violence. Uh, takes uh, over a thousand lives a year, many of those unjustified killings of African Americans. So our institute is designed as the first African American led human rights organization focusing on existential threats to black liberty and life, both domestic and international. So what can be done to defeat the oppression of African Americans at the United Nations level that cannot be handled here in the United States at the local, national and state level? Well, what we've done uh, as of uh, Monday is filed a claim and a charge against the United States government for systemic and structural racial discrimination, deadly police violence, and violent uh, white extremist vigilantism uh, against African Americans. And this was filed under United Nations treaty law, what we call international human rights law. There's an international convention uh, on the elimination of all forms of discrimination. Uh, the U.S. is a state party to that convention, as well as the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. And they have a procedure in place for urgent action, early warning um, uh, circumstances that we believe merited filing a claim uh, at the international level to bring to light uh, the oppressive and violent history of policing uh, that African Americans experience uh, the UN has taken up this issue. Uh, we had a petition signed um, uh, 10 days ago that we entered into uh, the East stratosphere. And that petition has received over 100,000 signatures uh, in just uh, one week. Uh, so we filed this petition on behalf of African Americans, uh, Americans, and the, some of the families of certain slain uh, sons uh, by police. And we're, we're hoping that the Human Rights Council debate tomorrow brings to light various issues uh, and other investigations that we hope the UN will conduct in the United States on the issue of policing. And doing a little research here, Doctor, I was looking up Stono River and the rebellion which took place in colonial South Carolina back in 1739, fighting against British and slave traders. So what do you have to say to those people who will say, well, that was bad, but it wasn't my bad, so let's move on? Well, the bottom line is, is that uh, uh, white silence is violence. Everybody has a constitutional responsibility to speak up against the brutality that African Americans face in this country. And African Americans have rights beyond the Constitution. We have rights in the Organization of American States called regional law and regional human rights. And we have rights under international law protected by the mandate of the United Nations Charter and subsequent international human rights law. So we have rights that we can assert at the regional and global level, and the time has come for that to happen. Malcolm X lobbied for that. In 1951, a group of African Americans authored a document to the United Nations called We Charge Genocide. So this movement uh, has been going on for some time, and we felt it necessary to file this claim and others that are coming to hold the U.S. account at the international level for its treatment because it's proven that it's unable or unwilling to safeguard black life. And